Kristen said, uh, Dave, you and Mark had a discussion about how we uh, uh, plan or how the, uh, the, the evening runs. And so you know all of that stuff. Uh, and you know that we have 82 uh, uh, entries this evening. Um, one last thing is we do like to wrap it up at uh, about 9.30 and we like to leave a little time for people to ask questions of you at the end of the entire session. Okay. So you know how to plan your time. We, we're looking at- well, If you start to see me running a little slow, just prompt me and I'll, I'll speed it up. Sure. Okay. 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 So anyhow, welcome everyone. As you may or may not know, this is Dave Mills. Dave has judged for our court many, many times. He's an excellent photographer in his own right. And we always learn something valuable from things that he tells us. So we're ready, Dave. Okay. We're gonna start what with, okay. excuse me. No, you go on. I'm it's sorry, Dave. We're gonna start with the open group one and there are nine entries in this contest. Okay, and group two is the advanced group, correct? That's correct. Okay. Yes. Okay, open group one, alone at the beach. All right. Interesting close up of the girl. Uh, looks like the maker uh, applied some type of filter because it looks, uh, you know, the image looks a little watercolorish. Uh, I like the cropping. Um, you know, the water gives kind of a nice background. Um, seven. Okay. Mark, is it possible to make the picture larger? No, I can't. You, you have some controls there to do it, but I cannot make it larger. Okay. Uh, all right, I like the angel. I like the bush to the left of the angel. Um, sometimes when we look at something like this, we see a lot and it's very pretty and it's attractive to us. But when you put all the elements together, it just kind of doesn't work. Uh, and in this case, you know, you have the house, you have the, uh, you know, the drain pipe up on top, you have uh, some wires, you have some bushes and so forth. Uh, and I think if the maker kind of singled something out of this and took a part of the whole, you'd have a lot stronger composition. This way it's rather busy and uh, my eye seems to be running all over, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the screen, uh, six. Yummy. <laughs> mm. I, know, I have to say the, you know, the subject is pretty interesting and, you know, that's... <laughs> I've done that a few times, um, uh, but uh, um, uh, I think the maker cropped it a little close. And I, you know, uh, generally speaking, when you have a subject, a person, or an object, or a bird, or whatever, facing a certain uh, you know direction, you want to give a little room in that area for the subject matter you know to go into. Uh, and this way, you have it basically pretty much almost up to his knee. Uh, and uh, also, you know, there happens to be a lot of stuff going on in the image. I would have liked to have not seen his bottom leg uh, uh, cut, you know, where it is. I'd rather see it more close up or see the whole leg, uh, six. Lobster pots. Okay. Uh, interesting, you know, it definitely tells you a place. It looks, it kind of looks a little bit like Nova Scotia. Uh, and uh, uh, I like the lobster pots. Uh, I like the effect that also that you do see the boat, the fishing boat on the upper left, uh, which also adds to the whole kind of flavor of the image. I wish that you would have uh, given a little more room uh, to the boat on top. I think you cut it a little close. Um, Seven. Orchid offshoots. All right, this is very nice. You have a nicely muted background. Uh, the orchids are sharp, uh, nice color. I like the flow of the orchids. Uh, 
uh, you know, the way they're presented. I like the slight diagonal of the, uh, of the stick. Um, I believe it's a stick that's holding up the orcas themselves. Um, I like the image. Uh, if, if this were mine, uh, just as a suggestion, you know, uh, I don't know if you work in Photoshop, but I would have taken that little bit on the bottom out um, where it looks like it's holding, um, uh, you know, the stem and the stick together, seven. Norway. Okay. Uh, nice overview. You have an overcast day. So, you know, it's rather, you know, it's a rather flat lighting. Uh, I do like the atmosphere, though, as far as on the right, <laughs> where you see a, uh, you know, foggy area. Uh, I would have definitely given it a little, a hair bit more room on the top. So I don't like uh, things bumping up against the side of the frame. Uh, and in this case, you know, the mountaintop is kind of bumping up there. Uh, um, seven. Main town. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Interesting view of the shoreline. I think the maker cropped it well. It, it, it kind of lends itself more to a panel crop. Um, well, so the sky is pretty blank. So you want to minimize the sky as much as possible. Um, I think it's a quaint little town, you know, which, you know, you're depicting here. Um, It's a good view of the town. However, I would have liked to something a little more creative. This is basically a shot of the town. Um, sometimes it's best to pick an uh, element out areas or a grouping and uh, um, I prefer to put, I think, it's, I think it's well handled for what it is, seven. Water over rock. <clears throat> Okay, nice flow of water. I like the, uh, you know, I like the fact of motion uh, and the water streaming over the rock and the water crashing on the rock on the left. Um, I think it's crop well. Um, the light is a bit harsh though. I would have liked to seen it where it was a little less harsh. You might've seen a little more detail in the water on the left. Um, but I think the maker framed it well, seven. Yellowstone Terrace. Hmm. It's like Mammoth Hot Springs. I think that's what they call it. Um, it's an interesting contrast between Mammoth Hot Springs and the other terrain. I think as a study in, in, uh, in terrain, I think it uh, um, tells a story. Actually, the best time to shoot this is very early in the morning and you get a uh, beautiful golden light on that and it makes it almost kind of magical. But uh, 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 in this vein, uh, I think it's interesting and it does, uh, uh, it does make a nice comparative study, seven. Okay, round two. Okay. Alone at the beach. Seven. Lobster pots. Seven. Orchid offshoots. Eight. Norway. Seven. Main town. Seven. Water over rock. Seven. Yellowstone Terrace. Eight. Okay, so what we have here is we have two. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a first place and a second place. All right, the orchids are first. Okay. The orchids are first. I did that, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, let's review the contest. Let me just move this up here. Second place, Yellowstone Terrace. Marv, great job. Thank you. And first place, Orchids, Jack. Oh, Jack. Really nice. Hey, Jack. Diane, hey. everyone can hear you. Oh, can hey. I, can I oh. mute it? I don't know how to mute it, I'm sorry. Okay. Now we're gonna go into open group two. And in this case, we have 19. Okay. Mark, Mark, excuse me, maybe you want to just mute everybody, but you and- All right, I'll have to bounce out of here to do that. So if you give me a minute, I'll do that. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Uh, that's gonna be another pain. Oh, hold on. Uh, Just ask everybody to mute, guys. No, hold on a second. Okay, Dave, did you unmute? Dave, please unmute. Okay, is that all right? Can you hear me? Okay. Good. I'm gonna go back into sharing again. And we're gonna do group two. Blue boots and belt buckle. I like the clarity of it. I like the sharpness of it. And I like the subject matter now, the next question I have to ask my, and the lighting, the next question I have to ask myself, does the, does the image work? I think the image works best without the guitar. Because what is going on here, I'm looking at the boots. I really love the boots, the design of the boots. I love the jewelry. Uh, and then I go up to an entirely different color and I'm going up to a, a, a wolf that really stands out. So, and he's pulling my eye away from really the central area of the image, which I think are the boots and the jewelry. So uh, if the image was cropped to a point where the, um, you know, the guitar was out, I think it'd have a much stronger image, six. Dazzle cone flower. Okay, I think it's an interesting image. I think it's a creative image. Uh, I like the uh, soft colors. Uh, I like the, um, the patterns, the subtle patterns that are being created in the background. Uh, if I had my druthers, I wouldn't have that dark area over on the right because it's, there's nothing in the background that is similar to that and it draws your eye there. And I would have uh, uh, I would have removed that. Um, but outside of that, I do like the creativity of the image. Uh, seven. Rose. Okay, very very sweet looking girl. I like the angle of her head. Um, lighting is a bit you know it's a bit strong. I would like to see a little bit uh, um, uh, more subtle lighting, you know, than the lighting you know, that's being presented. Uh, also the background, uh, I can see a painting up on the left, it's on an angle, which, you know, it should be, you know, based on this. And uh, I would have preferred either have a kind of a muted background uh, with basically a softer light on her face, six. Palm shadows. All right, interesting lines, shadows, uh, highs and lows. Um, I like the uh, the pattern that's being um, you know created here. I think it's interesting. You have one side that's fairly dark with lines, you know, basically cutting through the image, uh, and uh, you know, on a uh, on a diagonal in some of the uh, areas. I you know, I think it's an interesting image seven. 
three windows in a row. Okay. Well, uh, I think this uh, image definitely deserves a panel crop. Um, you know, very symmetrical. I like the fact that you gave a little more room in the bottom than you did on the top. Um, seven. Storm. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, obviously the lightning here is the star and uh, um, it, it, it shows very nicely. Um, I'm having a debate with myself whether it should have been crop tighter or the panel crop is okay. And I'll let the maker win out and say that it's okay the way it is as far as I look at it. Um, I think it's handled well, you know, for what it is. I'm glad that the lightning is not centered. It seems to be slightly off centered. Um, and great sky here, uh, seven. Dirty, drafty, to pillow tape window. Okay. Interesting, uh, interesting window, interesting uh, uh, wood and patterns in the wood, uh, peeling uh, paint. Um, even, even the window is, it seems to be on a slight diagonal. If you look at the upper line, it's, it's you know, it's, it's going uphill, uh, seven. Rock on the shore, black and white. Okay. I like the placement of the tree. Uh, I like it's being placed between that, uh, uh, Looks like an island, and you know, the shoreline on the far right. Um, good detail in the foreground with the rocks leading your, you know, taking your eye out to uh, you know the water. Uh, this is something. This image, I don't know. In my opinion, there's something that it needs. Maybe a little more contrast. Maybe. I'm just trying to figure it out because uh, it's very simple and very direct. But I just feel it. I think it's well handled for what it is. I just feel it needs a little more. Uh, but seven. New Hope Bridge in winter. Okay. Uh, good panel crop. Uh, probably would have taken a little bit off the sky, a little more. Just, just. Just a little. Uh, the maker looks like the maker, you know, vignetted it. Um, but I do see, I have to say, I do see some dirt. Uh, it looks like lint or, 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 you know, dirt or something. I see three dots on the right and I see one good sized dot on the left. And that needs to be taken, that needs to be taken out. Uh, six. Well, the cowgirl needs her guitar and boots. <laughs> well, I think this image, as opposed to the first one, this image works better um, because now you've incorporated the guitar within three subjects and it flows better. Um, uh, I like the boots, I like the hat. I think you got enough of the hat, uh, the guitar. The guitar is a little bit distracting only for the sake that, first of all, you have a little uh, 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 light band on the top of the guitar uh, that I wish wasn't there. And the, the fact that the guitar is black and brown also is another element of busyness to the image. I would have preferred the, uh, you know, the guitar to be a solid color because the boots by themselves are very busy. Um, Seven. Double rows. Hi. This has a very nice feel to it. Um, I like the pastel colors. Composition looks nice. Uh, 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 the subjects themselves are pleasing. Background uh, is also very, very pleasing. I like, uh, yeah, I like the different hue of coloration within it. Um, seven. Sun kissed. Okay, interesting. Interesting, uh, you know, designs. Uh, 
uh, in the cut glass. Uh, lighting on the main subject is good. Uh, it has a tendency to bring out, uh, nothing seems to be blown out. It seems to bring out all the detail. I can see a lot of detail in the glass. Um, I, I think the image is well handled. If I had my druthers, I would have a little bit less light on the left side. That would be my preference. Uh, but uh, all in all, I think the shot is well handled. So through the window. Okay, this is interesting. I like the uh, offset window pane, which looks like a cross with the uh, painting in the background. And I think it divides the painting nicely the way it's handled. I like the coloration. Um, if I had my preferences, if I had my druthers, uh, I would have preferred that line, that 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 uh, uh, vertical shadow line wasn't in there. But I think the image is strong enough by itself, I think, to carry it uh, seven. Appear black and white. Okay. Um, well, this is your very standard leading line, taking you right out into the image. Uh, I like the fact that the horizon seems to be level. Uh, you have a nice, nice little array of puffy clouds in there. Um, I think the maker handled it well. You have good detail uh, uh, on the pier, uh, good detail throughout. I think it works well as a black and white. That bird, I think, is very, very important to this image. It adds another element up there. Uh, I'm just wondering if the image was just cropped a little off the top. I can see it graduating from light to dark going to the top. So I might hold that because that isn't, well, you could do it either way. Um, seven. After the snowfall. Okay. Uh, like the gazebo. Um, I like the placement of the gazebo. Uh, you know, I like the, um, probably the feel of the mist because it's a very misty looking image, very foggy. Um, might have added just a little bit more to the base, to, to the snow on the bottom, just a little bit more. So it wasn't just a thin sliver over on the left side, you know, it would give it more of a more of a base. The, uh, uh, you know, the overhanging branches on top, uh, I think, are okay. Uh, it's not too little and not too much. I think you've got a good balance there. Um, seven. Circuit City Abstract. I think the ball, um, the ball that I'm looking at is pretty compelling with uh, all the reflections or of all the various circuitry and whatever that is. And uh, also the base of it. I think that's a, that's a compelling area of the image. I think the left-hand side of your image is really not helping it a lot because you have a lot of other busy elements in there yeah, well, let's face it, you know, the image is busy, but that necessarily doesn't constitute a bad image. But on the left, you have a lot of variable lighting there, and in some cases, bright lighting, which has a tendency to pull your eye away from the subject. And you try to focus in on exactly what that is over there when you should be really concentrating more on the center. Um, six. Coneflower at night, full moon. Okay, it's another variation of, uh, 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 of some previous image. Um, I also like this. Um, the image looks somewhat vignetted, uh, at least in three areas. Um, uh, also, in a, you know, also my preference would have been um, that we don't have that kind of black smudge on the lower right. I would have preferred that not being there. Um, and since the maker created this pretty much, um, could have easily have taken that out. I don't think that's helping your image. But uh, in general, I do like the image seven. 
out of a whole cloth. This is a very interesting image, abstract. Um, but you have a tendency, you know, there's a lot of texture in the image, a lot of tonality in the image. I have a tendency to look at this and I'm trying to figure out what it is. So I'm getting myself caught up in the image. It's, it, it's, um, it's holding my interest. And I do like this image. Uh, I think it's very creative and uh, well done, seven. Three's a crowd. <laughs> I like the fact you can see the three baskets, which I think is interesting. And uh, you know, the lighting is nice. It's not harsh. Um, I do like the two main subjects. And uh, I think in order to get to three baskets, which, you know, odd numbers generally have a tendency on average to work better than even numbers as far as uh, composition. Um, but uh, I think it's an interesting image, seven. Okay, round two, we have 15 entries. Here goes, dazzled cone flower. Eight. Palm shadows. Eight. Three windows in a row. Seven. Storm. Nine. Dirty, drafty, depilitated window. Seven. Rocks on a shore. Seven. What a cowgirl needs, her guitar and boots. Eight. Double rows. Nine. Sun kissed. Nine. Through the window. Seven. A pier. Eight. After the snowfall. Seven. Cone flower at night, full moon. Eight. Out of the whole cloth. Nine. Three's a crowd. Eight. Okay, what we're going to have here is a first, second, third. The other two will be honorable mention. The other, the one, the other one will be honorable mention. Hmm. All right. Um... We'll get the lightning is number one. Okay. Uh, the flowers, well, the flowers is number two. And the, uh, that one right there, the design is this number one. three. Okay. Here we go. Open group two, honorable mention, sun kissed. Bobby, very nice. Third place, out of the whole cloth. Bobby again, wow, tonight's your night. And second place, double rose, Dave, beautiful. And first place, Storm, Harvey, once again. Nice job, Harv. Okay. Now we're gonna go into the theme and this is group one. Macro. Macro. All right. Okay, it's macro. And close-ups. Sorry. Jellyfish. Okay. Uh, well, you got a lot of jellyfish here. And you got a lot of different lighting, you got a lot of different reflection. Uh, I do like the blue water in the background, but the dominant, uh, you know, the dominant, you know, jellyfish, I, I don't know if the image was flash, but it certainly looks like it was because that uh, dominant jellyfish is just 
is just way too bright. And you have a, you also have certain competing elements in the image, you know, for one's attention. You have a little bright area on the on the upper right, and on the all the way up on top, you also have a a, a very bright element. And I think you can see parts of the uh, of the glass that you might have shot it through. Sometimes it's best just to get one subject or uh, a, a few and then just try to pull them out of the group. And I think you have a more compelling image, but you got to watch your lighting here, six. Seashells. All right, nice placement of the shells. I, you know, I think it makes an interesting uh, look. I like the uh, the brown uh, um, against the colors. They're, they're, you know, the, the subjects are all very sharp. Lighting is uh, uh, even. Uh, seven. Quick and easy bottle and can opener. Okay. Uh, you know, interesting subject to can opener. Uh, but I'm looking, and that which comprises about 25% of the image. And I'm looking at the rest of the image, and I'm trying to figure out what what one has to do with the other and how it relates. And I, I honestly really don't get it. Um, six. Red flower. Okay. All right. So the maker took uh, took a close up of a flower. But however. Um, Part of the background is very nice. I like the upper part; it's muted well enough. Down below, you've got a very you have a variation in lighting. It's brighter. You also have the other flower on the lower right, which is also an element that you might not want to include uh, in the image. Also, I might have cropped a little bit off the top. I don't think you need that quite that much on top. And the problem with shooting, and the light is a bit harsh. You want to try to get a softer lighting. There's many tricks you can do in macro photography that will help you control control some of the lighting. And there are a lot of books out on this subject, and uh, uh, I think they give a lot of good tips. Six. Flowers in a cube. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I like the interior design of the, uh, it looks like tulips, um, but this, you also have other elements in the image. You have a, a colorful top, you have a kind of a muted center, and then you have a little more color on the bottom, and then you're showing little bits of, 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 of white dots within the subject, some of them you really don't know why they're there, but they are, uh, or it could be some reflected light. You're also cutting the left side of this, of your subject off. Um, I think this image would have probably been a lot more effective. And this, this I really wouldn't call necessarily a macro image. It doesn't appear like a, like a true macro image. Uh, you might've done a close up of the design more or try to incorporate the top more. Uh, I think it would give me a lot more interesting image six. Orange opulence. Okay. Well, the maker just, you know, boom, centered it. And I'm not saying centered images are bad because in some cases they work very well. In this case, it looks like, boom, you know, the, the flower is not really, I don't see any anchor point on the flower. It's just kind of hanging there. And the contrast between color and black and white can work very well. In, in this though, we have a lot of uh, things going on in the background. You have a lot of different shapes, uh, different types of uh, leaves and so forth. You have a little strip of white on the left side of the image. Uh, then you got little lines coming out on the right side of the image. All these really are not helping the star of the image, which is the flower. Uh, six. Pretty rust. Okay. All right, to make this so something, you know, interesting subject. Uh, I liked, uh, I think the maker cropped it well. Background is fairly muted. It doesn't interfere with the subject. I think 
Uh, I think the lighting is a bit harsh. I'd have liked to see some softer lighting on this. Would have had a tendency to pop the detail probably a little more uh, if you had a little less, if it was a little less bright. Um, I do like the idea though. Uh, in a perfect world, I would have actually preferred not to see that uh, wider bar on the uh, right third in the background. I wish that was kind of excluded. Uh, but I like the fact that your eyes saw this and uh, uh, seven. One ugly dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't look at this as a macro image. So I'm going to disqualify this. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Quarks. Okay, I think this is interesting. Uh, I like the background. I think, you know, I think the red adds to uh, the kind of muted colors of the cork. Uh, kind of like how the corks were arranged. Um, maybe just a hair room on the left and right, maybe just giving it a little bit more room. And maybe since this was pretty much a setup, uh, I would have probably have watched that little a bit that of cork that I have on the very bottom, I would have either shown a lot more of it or excluded it. Um, seven. Hibiscus. Okay. Uh, hibiscus can be very, very beautiful flowers. And, you know, this is an example. Um, in this case, I'm wondering why the maker, I think the maker left a lot on top because they wanted to include the leaves on the bottom. I see no other compelling reason to do that. Uh, however, I think uh, so. But what it did was it, it imbalanced the composition. And your lighting here, which lighting is everything in photography, is very harsh. So you've got to watch the lighting and you also have to watch your composition and you have to watch the background. And I would have preferred you also not to clip, have clipped a little uh, petal. Uh, on the right, six. Mac. Okay. Um, the background, even though it has lines in it, I think is sufficiently muted. I would have preferred the lines, especially on the right, not being there. Uh, and you have the, since it's a macro, you have very limited depth of field, but what you did is you uh, you have the head fairly sharp, but and then the neck, but then the, the, the vast majority, uh, then I'd say about 60% of the image is, is not sharp. And then you also have some kind of a line on the very bottom left. Uh, all these things you need to look at. And since this, you obviously had enough time to, you know, shoot this. It wasn't where you're shooting a bird and it's flying past you. This you had time to kind of study this and examine it. Watch your backgrounds, watch other extraneous things that are in your image and try to focus in like, if you probably just gave this as a kind of a head and a chest shot, it might've been a lot more effective you know, than the way it's presented now, uh, six. What's scattering? Okay, a nice close up of, um, of the various elements of the quartz um, with all the different types of uh, uh, stone or, or uh, you know, within this. I think it's interesting. Uh, I might have given just a little bit more room on the left, a little bit more room on the right. I think you, you cut it a little close. Uh, lighting appears to be okay. Um, seven. Gorging on a sunflower. Okay. Um, I do like the way to make her crop this. She took a section of the sunflower. Um, the most probably to, to me, the, one of the most compelling areas of the sunflower is the center because it's very highly detailed. Uh, probably would have tried to find a different angle on the bee. I, I don't think the bee's angle here is that uh, helpful. 
it, it is casting a fairly good sized shadow uh, uh, in the back of its wings and uh, which I would have just preferred to see the bee. I don't want to, I really wouldn't want to see the shadow because it's different because it's something that stands out differently from basically the whole image. I like how it's cropped. Um, but as I said, I would have taken a, probably a different angle of maybe a lower angle looking up at the bee uh, rather than looking down at it. Um, but I do like the rest of the image. So I'll give it a, um, so we'll say seven. Beginning. Okay, um, nice bud. Uh, I do like the background. I like the, like the soft pink color. Um, there, there is an element of composition here that needs to be looked at. The bud probably should have been raised in the image and you should have had more room on the bottom than on the top. Uh, it looks imbalanced. I might've cropped, uh, I would have cropped some off the top. And if you look at it, I think it makes it a heck of a lot stronger range. Seven. Marbles. Okay. Sometimes shooting marbles can be very effective as far as uh, different shapes and sizes and colors. Uh, I think in this situation, I, I don't think your lighting is working for you because what happened is you have a lot of reflections here. Look at all the little dots that are all over the image. All these little white dots that are all over. And then you have other colored dots and other colored little reflections of other lights. And then all of a sudden, boom, you got that real bright one over on the far left, which takes your eye away from 90% of the image and you're looking at the far left because that, uh, uh, you know, you know cause that marble is drawing your eye over there. Um, Sometimes when you shoot something like this, it, it might pay to shoot maybe a grouping of four to five of these or eight of these or six of them and get a nice color combination without some of the harsh reflections that you have here, uh, six. Textured concrete. Well, I have to give the maker some kudos on this. This is something that probably most people would have walked right past and not even looked at. And the maker saw something here. Uh, you saw a, 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 a study in texture and uh, color. Um, and you have a little element of, uh, of uh, design coming through with those little white blocks uh, on the bottom third. Uh, and uh, if I had my druthers, I probably would have cropped I would want the green area to be larger than the brown area. I think that's fine. I don't think it needed to be that much larger. I, I might have cropped it down a little bit where I had one third, two thirds. This seems to be like, uh, I don't know. It seems, to be set, it seems to be 70, 30, and I probably would have just brought it down a little bit, uh, seven. Mercury. Okay, uh, you know, kind of a subtle view of the mercury, but uh, you know, it's for, it, it stands out. You can definitely see it and you definitely can make it out. And the, uh, you know, the uh, rusted area around it, uh, you know, is another element to the image. Um, maybe just, you know, I might've not cropped it uh, Oh, so close to the top and the bottom, just a, just just a little more room, and I just you know I just think it's an interesting subject to look at. Um, seven, two clip butterflies play follow the leader. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, you know this does lend itself to a panel cropped, but I'm looking at the image. And I must say, I see nothing that's sharp. And you have, uh, it's no problem you have more on top than on the bottom. However, the top really has nothing much to offer. It's mostly a blank area. Yeah, you have a little bit of pinkish and black and whatever on the, and gray on the, on the right. But 
I think this image would have been a lot more compelling if you were closer, because this is not really a macro image. These, it's, it's an image of a branch with two subjects. Matter of fact, the more I look at it, the more I'm gonna say it's not a macro image, I'm gonna disqualify it. Drop by drop. Okay, it's interesting, uh, especially, you know, the, uh, the vertical drop area or, you know, the water area. Um, I think, I think what's hurting your image is there's just so much going on within the image. There's so much reflected light going on in the image. Uh, there's so many other different linear patterns and shapes and variations in lighting and this and that, which, which really takes away from any strength that that water flow would have. Uh, six. Indian head penny. Oh, it's a good close-up of a of an Indian Ed Penny. Um, uh, in the future, as you've seen in some other images, if you have a dark background, it pays to put like a uh, a little one pixel white line around it, so the judge can see where it begins and it ends. I have an idea because I can see it. I can see a little bit of a dark brown background, but I shouldn't have to look like this. And sometimes the judge will hit you on that. Uh, it's a good representation of a coin. Um, if I was uh, if I was a coin collector and I looked at this, I would appreciate it because I would see the coin in a, in a very you know sharp, good light. I would want to see something a little more creative when I'm looking at an image, and this is basically a, a you know a straight shot of really, of an old coin, um, six. Jeweled sandal. Okay, uh, interesting subject. I don't know if this is a macro shot either. It's a shot of a shoe and a shoe is not, well, you can look at it and say, well, it's a close up, but you're really on the line here as far as, uh, as, far as a macro. Um, but I will judge it. Uh, you're, uh, you're, all, you're very close to the top. You should leave a little more room on the top. Uh, you should have left a little bit more room on the right. I don't know why the maker framed it this way because you made it very tight on the right and you left a lot of excess room on the left. And I would have taken room in on the left and brought a little bit more on the right. I like the diagonal of the shoe. But uh, the way it's presented within the image, uh, I don't like how it's sitting, um, how the subject is sitting in the frame. Six. Brown pelican fish, uh, fishing. This is not a macro. Uh, this is disqualified. Blowing. Uh, interesting. Um, I do like, I kind of like the reflected blue that's coming, uh, you know, that's that, that vertical line coming down. And uh, I'm not sure if I like it cropped on the left when the right is not cropped. If they were both areas were cropped, I think it would be, I, I think you either have to crop both or not crop both. Uh, and, and in this case, uh, it, it just seems a little off to me. I do like the, I, I like the, the, the the soft diagonal of the flow and uh, you know the muted background. I might have taken that little, whatever that stuff is on the upper left uh, on top, I would have taken that out uh, or excluded it in some way. Um, I do like the idea of seven. Happy. You know, I, I really don't call this a macro either. This is a this is a shot of a head of a doll, and that really doesn't define a macro. It's not a real real close up. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna disqualify that too. But you can't eat just one Oreo. I love Oreos, but I can't look at this as a macro. Disqualify. Well. 
Muscovy duck. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not a macro. Disqualified. Silver dollar. Okay, well, um, as I as I basically said in the last comment, uh, when I, you know I saw a coin like that, it's a nice. I'm saying it's a nice represent. It's a very nice representation of of a coin. Uh, in my view, I would have liked to see a little more creativity involved, and um, uh, the image is well handled. But I want to see more creativity within the subject uh, six. I have an idea. Okay, good view of the light bulb. Nice muted background. Um, uh, pretty much good detail throughout. Uh, seven. Okay. Round two. Seashells. Eight. Pretty rusty. Pretty rust. Seven. Quarks. Eight. Quartz scattering. Seven. Gorging on a sunflower. Seven. Beginning. Seven. Textured concrete. Eight. Mercury. Seven. Flowing. Seven. I have an idea. Seven. Okay. We're going to have a first, second, and third on these. Um, give the corks, then the uh, pattern, and then the shells. Okay, so this is first? Yes. Then the pattern. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, I just want to state this because um, I just noticed something, you know, I have a very limited time to look at images. And there are times that I catch things and there are times that I don't catch things. And the view looking down, the pattern shot that I liked, I don't, I didn't, I, I looked at it for the texture that it was. And I didn't look at it because I didn't, I couldn't identify what exactly it is. But if that is a view looking down uh, on a on a pool with, the edge of the pool. That certainly is not a macro shot, but I don't know that. Okay. So I just want to clarify that, you know, for the record. Okay. That's all. Themes okay. macro group one, third place. Seashells, Claude, very nice, Claude. Second place, textured concrete. Diane, really nice, Diane. And first place, Quarks, Claude. Wow, this is your night, Claude. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, theme group two. We have 26. Theme macros, close-ups, group two. Tiger Lily. Okay. Um, all right, the stamens are nice. You know, they're nice and sharp. Background, you know, pretty well muted. Uh, um, uh, the flower seems to fill the frame. I like the fact that the uh, center seems to be slightly off center. And, uh, you, know, you know, the colors kind of pastelish and also pleasing. Um, seven. 
Will and Ward up close. Up close. Hmm. This is interesting. Love the, uh, uh, you know, the bubbles or, you know, the circles that are created. Um, colors in the background are compelling. Uh, I just have a suggestion. I probably, if this was mine, and it's only, uh, it's only my suggestion from my taste, I might have cropped out the uh, colors on the left, a uh, little green bar and the yellow bar and so forth. Uh, I just think it makes a stronger image when you don't have that in there. Uh, but I do like the idea and uh, lighting is good. Um, seven. Ha ha. <laughs> I think it's a pretty interesting image. Uh, I think it's clever. Uh, I love the pen. Uh, I really like how the pen, the diagonal, the, uh, uh, the lighting is good, the color is nice. I even like the little bit of a darker shadowing on the upper left. I think that works. Uh, seven. Beauty emerging from rock. Uh, I really don't look at this as a macro image. Um, it's just showing too much. It looks like a it, it looks like a shot of a clump of flowers, basically. I'm a disqualifier. Kala Lily Crystal Clear. Okay, it looks like the maker, uh, you know, uh, applied some kind of a filter to this, but um, which uh, makes it very linear and brings out some of the, a lot, pops a lot of the detail, you know, within the calla lily. Uh, I like some of the leaves that are surrounding it as far as the lines and the, uh, the, the shot, you know, the darkness of them. Uh, there are some things I would have preferred not to see in the image. And since this is a very creative image, the maker could have easily have taken them out. I would have liked to have not seen a bright area in the upper left and not seen um, that white bar in the upper left. And some of these little lines, like the one on the, uh, to the left of the flower, I would prefer not seeing. There are some of these lines which, uh, there's some of them, not all of them, which kind of bother my eye, which I think are distracting, but, uh, uh, I think the lily itself and some of the leaves, some of the, some of the striations around it, I think uh, are nice, seven. Hiking in Holland in miniature. This is not a uh, uh, hiking in Holland in miniature? Yep. Okay. Well, you're telling me you shot a very small subject. Um, I do like the way it's lit. Uh, obviously, you know, the, you know, the, the black background make, makes the subject pop. And I think, uh, you know, it gives us some interest uh, and it's sharp. Uh, I think it's frame well, um, seven. Snake skin. This is very interesting. Love the patterns, love the texture. I really like the flow of the uh, of the snake scale in the center. That really adds an awful lot to this image. Um, but the, uh, in black and white, it, I think it really, I think this is, would be a, is a lot stronger in black and white, I think, than it would in color. I think color would be more muted. I think in black and white, it shows more detail and it shows more uh, um, a pop, so to speak. Very nice image, seven. First class. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's creative. You know, it's funny you know, that I'm just looking at this and saying that it's very interesting the maker would actually see this as subject matter. And I, I applaud the maker for actually coming up with something with this. Um, seven. From a flower. Okay, uh, close up of the stamens uh, in the flower. The background is black, so it obviously makes, makes the subject pop. But, uh, um, you know, there are some elements in the image which I think 
could stand improvement. Um, uh, the out of focus area on the upper on the upper left, and the the leaves it looks like or the petals on the lower left also out of focus. And the way the uh, stamens are going into whatever they go into or the center of the flower on the left is kind of disjointed. It it doesn't flow well. Um, six. Needle and thread. I think it's a really nice idea. Uh, I like how the lighting is depicting the, uh, you know, the needles so sharply and, and, and well. And, uh, you know, the different flows of the uh, three different threads that are going through it. And to be honest with you, I don't know why, the, why you even need the blue on the bottom. If you kind of hold your hand up and crop it, I think it, in some degree, it's more effective without it because you have a lot of, in essence, negative space on the bottom. I mean, th this isn't really doing anything for your image. Um, take that away and I think you have a more compelling image. Six. Bottle top. Hmm. Interesting how a bottle top became an abstract. Because, you know, when I first looked at it, I, I didn't, you know, obviously it might have taken me time to figure it out, but uh, I didn't look at it as uh, a bottle top when I, when I saw it. And I think this is, uh, you know, it's a good eye from the maker. <coughs> um, interesting subject. And I think it's an image that uh, one would kind of look at and uh, not the kind of image that one would see right away. Uh, seven. Have a cup up. I really like this image. I love the uh, uh, the smoke makes the image, you know, in my opinion. Uh, um, I'm just going back and forth myself to to wonder: is this really a macro image? Because it's a shot of a of a of a cup of tea. Um, is it what you would consider a close up? Uh, do you want to guide me on this? Because I like the image. I, I would hate to disqualify it. Uh, well, I'm not so sure. We say close up and macro. So, okay, I'll let it stand. Uh, I might have just uh, the background is beautifully muted. I might just take a little bit off the bottom, just a little bit, maybe halfway between the edge and the uh, and the saucer. Uh, seven. Blue Morpho. Okay. Uh, it's important, at least in my opinion, uh, in a subject like this, that the butterfly become pretty much sharp, and I'm I'm kind of looking, you know, for sharpness, and uh, it looks it looks fairly sharp. Uh, the left side of the image, even though you have certain, you know, high little bit of highs and lows in the background. Um, not over, not overwhelmingly bothersome. Um, I think the foreground on the bottom right, to me, is a little problematic, um, and also probably a little bit of the background on the right, not so much as the foreground on the on the lower right. Uh, I do think the butterfly is mostly sharp, and I think you caught it in a good position. So let's say seven. Hibiscus Chinese. Okay. All right. The center looks, you know, fairly sharp. I like the fact that it's somewhat offset, slightly offset. Um, I think it's framed well, compositionally. Seven. Miniature ball from Talon. Okay. Uh, well, the background, you know, the background's black. It makes it pop. Uh, I think you framed it well. I think you gave a little bit more room in the front of the uh, 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 of the subject than the back. Um, I 
I'm just wondering if I would have cropped it up to the base or not. Rather than have it like it's floating. Um, it's a good representation of the model itself. I think the lighting is okay. Uh, seven. Pollen, pollen, pollen. All right, here you have a nice angle on the B. Um, you're looking down, the B is sharp. Uh, the center of the cone flower is, is sharp. Uh, lighting, why it's, why it's bright is not harsh. Um, none of the colors are blown out. Uh, the background, you know, is okay. There's a little bit on the, on the, upper, uh, on the upper right, but I'm not gonna be that picky. Um, and I like the fact that the center seems to be offset uh, seven. Hold on. All right, really nice shot of the bee here. I uh, love the eye, um, the antenna and the legs coming out and uh, uh, background is beautifully muted. I might have not included that, those petals on the very top of the image um, uh, above the bee's head. I might have excluded those if possible or cropped them or, or gotten rid of them. Um, but uh, I like the lighting and I like the sharpness on uh, a good part of the bee itself, um, seven. Water drops on a house plant. Okay, I like the fact that Maker saw the water drops and they got a reflection in the water drops. Um, what I kind of, and I like the, the right side of the image where the background is very muted. Uh, lighting seems to be good. I think what's hurting the image is the left side. Uh, in the, the, back, the back of the drops, I think if you had chosen a different, maybe, I don't, you know, I'm not sure what would happen to the reflection of the drops, but I would have liked to have seen uh, uh, maybe a different angle where the drops were, had the background underneath them rather than have all the linear aspects in, um, in the background now, the way it's presented, I think it would have, if you might have shot it at maybe a little bit of a, maybe move a little bit more to the left, shot it a little lower angle. Uh, obviously, you're shooting a plant, so you had the power to, to manipulate this, maybe move some of the leaves where you wanted them and so forth. But uh, I think the way the image is presented, there are certain elements I really like in the image. And there's certain elements that I think are hurting the image. Um, six. Ice, eggs, and eggs up close. Okay. Uh, I think the I think the maker cropped it well for at least the uh, uh, you know the composition that it's in. I think your lighting here is not helping your image. It's kind of hurting your image. It's kind of you know blowing out a little bit on the left side. Uh, it's lacking uh, detail, uh, and I think that it's not clear. I mean, I could see an eggshell on the left, obviously, and maybe an eggshell in the background, but it's not clear in some cases exactly, pretty much what I'm looking at. And I don't know. I just don't think the composition works as a whole. Six. A sunny of my own E. Uh, I do like the angle to make her shot it at. I like the diagonal. I like the way the diagonal lines are coming up out of the corner and uh, coming up to the uh, window with the, uh, you know, with the time in it. Um, In a perfect world, I would have liked it better without the O and Y in it. I think it would have been more, uh, uh, I don't know. I think it'd been, it would have been simpler and I think more effective, but I do like the idea and uh, uh, the basic construct in the image seven. Old wagon frame. Okay. Uh, I like the bolt uh, on the right and the bolt coming up uh, in the center. 
In other words, I like I kind of like the center elements um, and the uh, and the old uh, rotted wood. Uh, I think the information on the right side of the image, the background, the yellow on the background, plus you go a little above the yellow, you got this, this other materials, you don't know what it is, and you got a dark area, then you got what kind of a window pane shatter, a, 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 a bright area with a line coming down and lines all over. What you needed to do was actually really move closer to the subject, try to control more of your background uh, than the way this is controlled now, and I think you had a lot more effective image uh, six. Barn door screw. Okay. I think the screw is interesting uh, and the red and the pattern on the left. I think, um, in my opinion at least, I think I would have cropped out to a little, to, uh, just to the left of that red line uh, that's on the right hand third. Uh, I don't think that's helping your image. And then you got another line after that, um, which, you know, is, is, is just not, which also when you crop that out, it takes the, uh, um, uh, it takes the screw out of the center because right now it appears to be fairly well centered. And this way you're offsetting it and you're showing like a yin yang type of thing. And I think, uh, uh, I think it'd be a more compelling image, six. Fresh melon. Nice close up. I think it's nicely handled. The background is nicely muted. Um, I love, I really, I think the drop is a huge amount to the image. Uh, See how to make her got close because very little of this image is sharp. Um, I do like the idea. I do like the drop. The drop is, some, is is probably one of the sharpest things in the image, along with uh, the foreground of the uh, fork. I think uh, uh, at the base of the fork, that's the uh, uh, seems to be the line of uh, uh, of focus. Uh, everything else, even the cantaloupe is somewhat uh, uh, softened. But I like the idea and I, you know, I think the image on a whole, even though I would have liked to see a little bit sharper, comes across, uh, you know, nicely, seven. Droplets on a leaf. All right, uh, I like the arc of the leaf. Uh, I think that works nicely. The droplets also add, panel crop seems to work. Um, there are areas in the background you see like little little white smudges, you know, they've been a very easy fact to take them out. Also, there's a little bit of white that's uh, uh, on the upper edge of the leaf. Um, seems like the maker took something out of the background but neglected to take it out when it got real close to the, uh, uh, you know, to the leaf itself. Uh, it looks like there needs to be some more work done in the background. Uh, six. Butterfly on leaf. Okay. Um, nice pattern. Uh, the leaf actually works as a as a background element. Uh, the black on top doesn't certainly doesn't add any more uh, distraction. A uh, little little closely cropped top and bottom. Um, and I might have cropped a little bit off the back of the, uh, 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 you know, the back of the frame, just about halfway between the uh, lower end of the uh, 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 wing and the end of the uh, frame, um, seven. A single popcorn. I do like the front of the popcorn itself, where you can see the uh, inside of the kernel and you can see some of the elements of the residual part of the kernel. Uh, I don't think the fingers are really helping you. Plus, uh, I'd say 60% of the popcorn is kind of out of focus and kind of muted. I'd have probably liked to have seen it. Uh, I think the popcorn by itself or just 
the very front of the fingers, but uh, uh, um, I think that would have been a more effective because if you look as your, as your eye goes left, there's a lot of space here that's really not, not that compelling within the image. The front part of the popcorn is, but the majority of the image isn't, six. Okay. Round two, group two, Tiger Lily. Eight. Oil and water up close. Eight. Aha. Uh -huh. Nine. Calla Lily crystal clear. Seven. Viking in Holland in miniature. Seven. Snakeskin. Nine. First class. Seven. Bottle top. Eight. Have a cuppa. Nine. Blue morpho. Seven. Hibiscus Chinese. Seven. Miniature boat from Talon. Seven. Talon, Talon, Talon. Eight. Hold on. Eight. A Sony of my Oni. Eight. Fresh melon. Eight. Butterfly on leaf. Seven. Okay, again, we have three here. So we're going to pick a first, second, and third. The snake. The pen. The snake is all right. The snake is first place. Correct. The pen is second place. Correct. And the coffee. Third place. Is third place. Okay. Okay, Stonebridge Photography Club theme macros close ups group two. Third place, have a cup of Bobby, beautiful job. That smoke is unbelievable. Second place, haha, -ha, Bobby again. Wow. <laughs> Terrific. I don't know what to say, but it's great. And first place, Snakes, snakeskin. Dan, once again, another first place for you. Beautiful. That's a beautiful shot. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing now. And we're back. Anybody want to turn the sound on? Please feel free. By the way, do you have my address? Uh, Harvey, do you have his address? Uh, I'd have to look. I don't. Why don't you email it to me just to make sure? Okay. I will. I have it. Uh, congratulations, everybody. I have to leave now. Wonderful seeing everybody and your photos. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Please uh, leave. Time now when everybody can... Um, Please yeah. leave. Today. Please Good leave. Winners. Very good. Leave the bottom, bottom right, Diana. You can see it. There's it's a okay. little red button on the bottom right. I know, but I can see it. There it is. You got to move oh, the cursor okay. there. Sorry. It'll work. Yeah. I have to leave as well. Thank you so much, yes. Dave. It was very impressive. Yes, thank thank you. You. congratulations to all. All the winners, very good. It was a nice yeah. evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Any other questions for Dave? Any comments, questions? I have a comment for Dave. Uh -oh. what, what I like, what I like when you judge some of the photos is that you said you left an option open to people. You said, well, if I had my druthers, I'd do this, but it doesn't mean that's the only way to do the photo. Well, I, you know, there are times that I think a photo might have a lot of good elements in it and it just needs a little tweaking in my opinion anyway. 
So I like to state it that this is my opinion. You know, it's not, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you can be open to take it or leave it. But uh, 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 I think a lot of times you, my suggestions would make an image that much stronger if something just minor or some little effect took place. And it's very easy when, when you're working on an image to overlook things. I do it. Everybody does it. Oh, we all do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Any questions, comments? I have one. What is it? I'm gonna say good night. Good night, Sandy. Good night. Yeah. I am too. Good night. Good night. Thank Dan. you. Bye. Good night. All right. I'm gonna close the recording now.